All right, guys. <laughs> Welcome to March. Um, great leadership call tonight. And as you guys always know, we, uh, Ashley and I do a jumpstart your month. Um, I was going to have her talk on something tonight, but little guy is being a little fussy. So we tagged him. So um, he was just upset that he couldn't do the talking on the call tonight. So uh, he's, she's taking care of that. I will have to fill in. I won't do as good a job, but you know, at least he got at least a part of it. But you know, we're into March. We had a great February. Uh, let's get into the creative process. And of course, creative process is what Dr. Ray always talks about. Um, tonight, we're going to cover a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to keep it short because, uh, again, Jumpstart Your Month is just for us to say, hey, we had a phenomenal month. Look at the lives that we're impacting. Where are we going this month? You know, patting ourselves on the back because we do we do, do good work and we celebrate our successes. And then what are we doing uh, moving forward to the next month? So, but just reminding um, ourselves and getting into the creative process of what we do is uh, I just like to remind people of kind of what Dr. Ray has gone around spreading and giving to people as he started the new year, which is, you know, we're doing something completely different. That's, that's, uh, you know, not normal out there in, in uh, every uh, everyday life. So, you know, for the new coaches on the line, for people that are, you know, that have been doing coaching just for a little bit of time, you know, we are not like anything else. You know, you, just, you heard the stories uh, of the lives changed tonight on the leadership call, which, you know, the stories are phenomenal. And I hope everyone here on the line says, hey, I want to be on that call someday, you know, talking about all the lives that I've changed and the people that I'm working with. Christina is shaking her head. I know, I know you are new director. Way to go. Um, but it's truly amazing what Dr. Ray Anderson is, uh, is doing here is, oops, let me check my chat, make sure I'm not missing anything. Can't, someone can't hear anything. Nicole, you still can hear me? I can still hear you. Okay, awesome. Uh, someone help out Jeanette who can't hear me. She probably needs to um, do the audio options if you if she can't hear me say this right now. Um, but um, let's see here. You know, we, we can't, what Dr. Anderson teaches us is, and uh, what we're doing is, is vastly different than what, what's going on out there in America right now. And, you know, he quotes Buckminster Fuller where he basically says is you can never change things by fighting uh, an existing reality. To change something, you know, you build a new model and make an existing model obsolete. I just think it's so cool because that is what we are doing. You know, we're changing lives one people at a time. I and mean, literally this whole call, these, all the, your guys' amazing faces, is because one person at a time said, hey, let's, let's look at health a little bit differently and just started us on our path. And what we call that is we call it the ripple effect because one person changing their lives, helping another, helps another, creates this entirely amazing mission. So just like to remind us as we do that. So we're gonna do a couple of different things tonight as, as we kick off, which is uh, one, like any call, and the reason, another reason why we do Jumpstart Your Month is because it's time to take a look at our own health. So pull out a piece of paper. Someone had a piece of paper ready, who was it? Was it Nicole or Christina? I can't tell, or was it, was it Denise? Of course. Definitely Christ not me. Not Definitely. gonna take credit for that one. You're not gonna take credit, but Christina's <laughs> piece of paper ready so grab a piece of paper or a phone or something or if you're like me and you need to make notes sometimes you write on your hand As many of you guys have seen my tattoos on my arm these are reminders to do stuff I don't recommend your hand you can I recommend using paper or or some kind of um, you know tablet or something like that but you know grab a piece of paper and we're starting off this and this is probably one of the coolest things about being in our optimal health community is that we're always moving forward on our optimal health so you know dr. A talks about optimal health as a journey taking one step at a time, one habit at a time, one day at a time. And this business is very simple. And I like to call it more of a mission, you know, for the people that haven't heard, uh, you know, some of our leaders talk rather than, than a business. It is a, a great mission of helping people. But how we do that is on my screen, I can't see it. So I'm going to move something around real quick. Is we place the oxygen mask on ourselves first and then we help person one person at a time. And we're much more effective when we take our own um, account, our health into account and just say, what do I want to improve this month? It doesn't need to be huge. Many of us have lost tons of weight. I'm looking at Denise right now. You know, you've lost 100 pounds. And Nicole, down 35, how much now is it? 34. 30, yeah. oh, 30, 35 tomorrow, probably. Right, right. Yeah, and then Christina, you obviously have a tremendous health story. Uh, loved your post on Facebook this week. And just basically just saying, what do I want to accomplish with my health this month? What would move me for? You know, I'm going to talk about the challenge here in a little bit, but we got the healthy games this month. Are you guys all signed up for? Do you guys want to play? And what do you want your health goal to be? You know, let's play a fun game with our health. Let's bring people along with us. But what do we actually want to, what do we want to do for, for that in, in ourselves? So just, just a cool thing to kind of just remind you guys. But the next thing we want to do is we want to celebrate and we got a ton to celebrate. So 
um, let's kind of get into that. I got, I got props for so many people on the line and just moreover, because we're, we're a team and we're a family and we're all doing something great together. And last month we helped more clients, uh, get on the road to optimal health. We had, you know, more people, more, more clients total than we've ever had in any single month. And it's just so cool to see that we're growing and every month that we're growing, those are people getting healthy. So, uh, you know, um, I'm going to actually celebrate, um, everyone on the line because that's what we're all doing. I have that this my next slide, but I want to, uh, uh, recognize some, some big thinkers on the line. So first new national directors, uh, Denise and Frank Heinrichs, Amber and Levi Newman, uh, new regional directors, Allison Petty, Brandon and Sarah Taylor, Julie Tisbert, and Cindy Wood. New executive directors, Corey Smith, Daylin Cooley, Brooke and Rob Nice, uh, Shauna Winterland, Bonnie and Richard down there in Phoenix, Ryan and Amanda down there in uh, San Diego, Danelle and Nicole. I can see Nicole on my screen right now. Nicole, by the way, Nicole, I mean, so many great things here, but you know, since Nicole's on my screen, met her last month in San Diego, just signed on to help a few people uh, in her family and executive director. We call all these people big thinkers because they're thinking beyond just their initial circle of influence. It's the first level of leadership in our business. Uh, but really it's someone who said, I just want to do more than help myself. I want to think big. Who others live can I impact? And I just think that's pretty cool. And then we have people moving towards that. So new, new directors, Christina Sanders, way to go. It's apparently a month of uh, Christina's for the, the month of, for directors, Christina Breeden. Uh, new associate directors, Jessica Rosenbach, Jerry Reich, and Megan Keole. Um, new managers, uh, Madison, Shirley, and Carla, and a ton of new senior coaches. And I actually broke my, uh, we actually broke the ticker, so I couldn't get everyone that actually made senior coach last month, so there's a ton more than that. So if I missed your name here, uh, please, I apologize, but great job getting a great start. And then more of a bigger thing, props to everyone, because it's not just about rank advance. We celebrate the ranks because there's more smiley faces, uh, it's us growing in competencies, but really, you know, um, you know, I taught, I started this call and Dr. A teaches us all something pretty amazing to use structural dynamics, which, um, is basically another word for that is, um, the creative process, which means every day we focus on what we want to do and what that looks like. And sometimes that doesn't necessarily qualify into a rank, but it does mean that we're changing lives because once you hit a rank for the first time, you can't just hit it again. Um, you know, I think I've, I've been at the same rank for the last year and a half because, that was the smiley face I got. And now I, every single day I lead myself saying, what do I want to do to change people's lives? And just like, you know, I know Denise has and Christina has and Nicole has since she just got started too. So again, I'm just mentioning these people because I can see your smiley faces on the line. So that's great. Mm -hmm. But I want to just point out that we're all doing amazing things. And I know so many of you guys accomplished personal, um, you know, feats in your business this month. And I just want to give some props out to uh, the people that did that. So props to you. And actually, could you give everyone a round of applause for whoever you see? I know Denise is at the very top of the screen. So yeah, throw out some, throw out some uh, recognition. And speaking of recognition, they hit on it on the call, but I want to just review it because this is such an amazing tool. Uh, again, we're going to review just some of the main things that will help you understanding like all the know-how, what you need for your business this month on how to help people. But we're going to continue the each one reach one. And, uh, you know, I was, uh, you know, really honored and blessed that Dr. A asked me to speak on that tonight. Uh, but basically, I love this because our company's always encouraging us to do what's in our best interest and what's in the best interest of others. So they're going to continue this each one reach one, which basically means for every person that you are helping move forward in optimal health, they're loving it, they see it, they want to pay it forward to other people and you help them become a coach. You help them create their first client because that's really what it's all about. I always think about Doug Wood, uh, presidential director. He always says that there's no clients in the co health coaching kit. So, you know, get out there and talk to people and change someone's life. Um, so that's kind of what they're encouraging us to do. So if you help someone become a coach, their next high leverage step is helping someone say yes to getting healthy. That's really the only thing that matters. So they're going to incentivize us for that. Really cool things that I want to show you because we have so many new executive directors and we have so many people that are going to make executive director in the next month uh, and possibly could even move up their goals. I actually talked with a couple great people right before the call and they were like, well, heck, you know, my coach did it in one month. Uh, why don't I do it too? So we'll see. We have a little bet. You know who you are and uh, we'll see where we end up at the end of the month. But what's really cool about this is anyone, and by the way, everyone who was an executive director in the March of February, you are retrofitted into this. Um, so going forward, if you can achieve the rank of executive director or higher this month, uh, or I'm sorry, Achieve executive director for the first time by March 31st, 
and you help someone do an each one reach one, you're going to get a complimentary single registration to go global. So Nicole, again, I can see you new executive director, you help someone. And I know all the people you've already been focusing on helping say, Hey, these people would make great coaches just like me. You help someone do that. You get your registration to go global covered. How cool would that be? That would be awesome. Well then let's do it. <laughs> uh, and then, and then convention ahead again, they're already thinking ahead. So anyone who may uh, advances to associate director um, between now and convention and help someone with an each one reach one gets a free complimentary single registration to convention. So um, that's pretty cool. So, and then obviously, um, you know, senior coaches, there's a VIP experience and anyone who has already held the rank. If you do that, you see here at the top here, I don't know if you can see my cursor, you get points for every one that you help do a um, hundred points for helping someone with each one, reach one 300 points. If you help them make senior coach, these points add up to free registration. So all the people that have ranked up before and already big thinkers, you're not out of this either. So, you know, now it's like you can go help out even more people. So you have even uh, have a higher bar to set because you're already thinking big. So just wanted to go over that. Trainings and community to plug into this month. So these are just opportunity for you guys to plug into, you know, because you are like the five most people you spend the most time with. And I have to say I surround myself with probably 500 amazing people. So I feel really lucky. Um, look at all of us on the call tonight. And it doesn't matter if you're in person or on uh, um, social media or in um, you know virtual format so all of you guys did something tonight that is for your own best benefit because this is the healthiest place you could be on a Monday night everyone take your hands like this and put them together self five nice job <laughs> I'm a dork I know but I like to have fun um, I'm actually gonna have Susan LaBelle come on we have a great training planned on Wednesday night we've had so many people just come on and join our, our, our mission over the last little uh, few little bit so we're gonna do some kind of cornerstone training and we're gonna keep it really fun and simple so Susan are you available to just come on and just explain a little bit about what we're doing on Wednesday night yeah thanks Brad um, I'm so excited what um, what an amazing leadership call and I'm laughing at you because we were up late last night uh, kind of um, well planning and talking about this, but we were laughing until we like cried over things. So that just goes to show that if you're, like you say, if you're not having fun, then we're doing it wrong. And really the training on Wednesday, we kind of just collectively put our minds together. Like how do we keep this so simple so that we can go out and help a lot more people. And it's going to just be a great training for, I think all levels. Like if I was a brand new coach, I'd want to be tuning into how can I do this in and around what I do and make this fun and help a lot of people and, and, honestly keep it super simple so it's not like that kind of kissing training but you know we just we like to like you say keep things fun um and it's even going to be for really skilled coaches like how many of us need to go and kind of double check our systems and also we're teaching all these new coaches maybe that you're bringing on to your team um how to get started and keep it really simple <laughs> so it's really for all levels we're excited you guys i mean if this is a great time of year a lot of people coming back um and a lot of new people that were starting and assisting to help. And so I'm excited for the training, Brad. And um, thanks for sharing. And uh, let's ready to rock and roll over here. So awesome. Yes, it's not an actual kissing training. So it will not be Shane teaching us how to kiss uh, on Wednesday night. Yeah, yeah. You can like show everybody. Oh, but, you know, that is just so sweet. You. Yeah, so <laughs> that'll be fun. What's that? <laughs> I said it's going to be rad. It's, it's going to be, be rad. rad. And I, okay, so it actually, we've thrown out the idea of themed uh, trainings once a month. So we would like to know if we could have like a theme for a training. Like I threw out 80s night. I thought it'd be really cool if we did an 80s theme training. So everyone would have to come to the training, like dress like something like that. So if you've got ideas on a theme, throw them our way. We want to know. We might get it done before the training. So we want to hear from you. But other things that's uh, plug into besides the KISS training, um, uh, and it's not the kissing Shane training. So, but it is, it is keeping it simple and understanding how to continue to have fun and how to best make impact in people's lives and get, and what basically what we call getting our cornerstone set. Um, so that's Wednesday night at 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. There's going to be trainings all over the U.S., so you can feel free to check coachconnection.com under trainings uh, for that. But just some high leverage ones in some areas. I know you guys are, many of you guys are near Stockton, California on March 7th, Russ McCann, Everett, Washington, which I will actually be driving up to, um, hopefully with Ashley and Witten if he cooperates that morning. And uh, that's March 14th. Looking forward to seeing a lot of people up there. San Diego, California with Greg and Whitney on March 14th. And then Portland, Oregon uh, on March 28th. There is a slight chance that it may change to the 5th, but
somebody to most likely be on the 28th. And if you are an executive director or higher by the time of that uh, training, there actually will be a Friday night special training um, that Terry Miller is going to be putting on. So uh, that's the skinny at the moment on that. So I want to get people that information. Um, next slide. Next slide is the coolest slide. And this is the one that Ashley was going to hit on because she always hits on it, but I'm going to try to do it justice. Go global. Go global is next month or not next month, but you can qualify for it by next month, um, April 23rd to April 26th. And it's just an amazing leadership event. We're going to do go down to Tucson, Arizona. And uh, basically it's where all the people that have naturally been helping people learn how to uh, basically rise to the next level of, of, of our mission of paying it forward and how to help other people on a higher level. And actually, I, this event is extremely special to me as it is to probably many people on the line that went to it. I, know, I can see Susan kind of nodding her head. Is This is the first event that I went to. Um, it basically said that, hey, you know, I could think bigger. I could do, you know, I could help more people than just helping our initial circle, which, you know, the ripple effect is just understanding the ripple effect and what to do. So, if you desire to do that, and even if you don't even desire to ever even have a bigger ripple effect, it's where the coolest people hang out. So if you're looking for the cool crowd, April 23rd to the 26th, we'll be in Tucson, Arizona. Come join us. Um, but yeah, plug for it and for that. And if you are one of the people that are newer on the line and you think that you can qualify for this event, um, we even have a new family member who's a new coach. They're saying like, hey, you know, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to try to make it. I want to go to there with you guys to try to make executive director. Reach out to your support team and let them know that you're interested in going to this event. Say, hey, what, do, what will it take for me to go, uh, go to Go Global? Many of you guys have already taken care of that. It's the second of the month. You guys are already on it. Props to you guys that are doing that. But yeah, if, if, you, guys haven't, if you guys are thinking, hey, is this a possibility? Reach out to your support team and let them know. They do want to know so they can help you do that. So Wanted to hit on a few things. Again, jumpstart your month is just about, you know, taking a look at where to best spend our time. And we just hit on a few topics. So tax benefits, we're coming up on this time of year. And uh, this is pretty cool because it's all in the, uh, the currency of getting a lot of people healthy. A lot of people made way more money this last year than they ever thought possible. <laughs> like they were like, dang, my 1099 showed up and that's what I made. Heck yeah. Happy dance. Um, so basically just want to give some like just tips on that as we've had a lot of new coaches coming on. Um, it is a big benefit to be self-employed. There are huge tax benefits. So get with an accountant of your choice. Um, find them out. You know, find out someone that can help you make good. Um, you know, basically um, understanding of what is write-offs. But I'm not an accountant, and you can't. You know, do not disclaimer. You cannot take this stuff to the IRS. But you should be able to write off many of your things. So coffee dates with clients, meals when you're with with clients. You know, if your business partner is something you're doing, if you're out having a meal together, that's a business meeting. Um, portion of your cell phone bill, internet bill, there's also percentage of home write-offs for areas that you are, that are strictly work environment. Um, mileage is on cars, um, all those things. There's huge things. And I'd have to say that ideally, even at the end of the year, and this is another benefit to being self-employed in the idea of helping a lot of people get healthy is you don't have to pay much taxes on the, on the currency you receive for helping others. So if this is new to you or you have questions, um, get with your support team. They're not going to tell you what to do, but they can kind of give you in the right direction of what of what will help you take an ownership of this. Because if you just keep uh, tabs of your receipts, or you many of you are already set up with a solid account, they will tell you what to do on this and all the write offs available. There's lots to take advantages of. So another cool thing about being part of uh, our little uh, culture here. So um, Don, this is a surprise, and this is where uh, I'll give you a heads up to unmute yourself. But it's March guys. And you know, many of you guys are understanding like, you know, there's always a good time to help people get healthy. And if you, if you, if you guys know me and I like to joke around, I'm always looking for a reason uh, other than the normal reason to get healthy, you know, always creating, um, you know, a reason for someone to say, yes, this is the right time. Creating urgency it's for uh, Brian Chow. Always have a sense of urgency in what you're doing. So uh, Dawn is a resident uh, world changer and has been, this is probably your fifth March. Is that right? Fourth. Fourth, March. You started coaching. Uh, I can't remember. I, Four and a half years ago, yeah. Exactly. So this would be your fifth March then. It would be the fifth March. Because I started in February. Yeah, you know, not good with, you know, numbers. But you are good at helping people. So would yep. you give people kind of an idea of what's going through the average? Like, you know, you continually started, you know, probably an average of five to ten clients a month. You and Brian are just always helping people. And this month is particularly special because lots of people are saying yes right now. It's usually the highest growth month that we usually have in Take Shape for Life. 
Um, but also there's a reason for it. Just could you give some just kind of tips of what is the high leverage things on how to be reaching out to people and why now is such a good time for people and why a lot of people say yes. So there's a good return on investment on your shares and your follow-ups right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks, Brad. Well, yeah, March is one of my favorite uh, months. I think we, we dubbed, um, what did we dub February? Um, fabulous February or something like, or <laughs> it was freaking February because it was awesome. But March is like, <laughs> March is like magical March. It's, um, it's awesome. So, you know, January, you have all the, the momentum and, and honestly, like right now, and Brad, I think we were talking about it. Like if you head into the gym, yeah, there's not as many people there as there were in January, right? Like people were really gung ho and they were going all that all out after it. Um, nice pink line. By the way, so, so, so basically, so just again, because we like to have fun, someone just discovered how to make lines on their mobile Zoom app because there's a little like cursor and Shane was a resident person that accidentally did that on a call like a month ago. So I did it at one point too. So someone just figured out how to draw on their screen from their phone. So that's what that was. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Oh, someone just drew me a heart. Aw. Aw. <laughs> So, but, but tell us about the gym. What's going on in the gym right now? So, but anyways, so so people are finding that okay, maybe what they started out to do on their own isn't working, and um, summer is right around the corner. Like it's spring. I don't know about all you on the east coast. I know you guys are under snow, but it's sunny and warming up here on the west coast, and people are starting to think about um, the fact that they're really ready. And so it's it's um, all of the people that we've layered with and talked to over the last several months. I mean, I'm having random people reach out. I'm having referrals. It's just, and it's happening throughout our team. It's just staying consistent and staying out there, um, posting some before and after pictures. Um, you know, March is an amazing month to do 30 days of health and hope. Maybe throw in some swimsuit uh, beach photos in there. Anyone, you know, going on any trips, you know, just really, people are ready and they're looking for things and they realize that let's see march april may june we are three you know literally where where are people going to be in the next three months and what's possible with our program in three months and with this community and with the challenges going on right now you guys this is the time there's no better time to be a health coach than right now and if you're just getting started this is amazing there's no reason you know people like i know we say it takes you know 30 60 90 days sometimes to um, go ED. I think, I think March was the month I went, went that we went ED or not. Yeah. ED. And I think we made the decision and just, and did it in, you know, less than 30 days from the time that we actually made that decision to do it because people are ready right now. And, um, if you just keep staying consistent and follow up, follow up, follow up, have everyone, you know, jump in the challenge, the, your pre-coaches, have them have their friends and family jump in the challenge and just create that community and love on people because, you know, they're ready. And I love the sunglasses pictures. I'm going to get some Ray-Bans one of these days. <laughs> um, but yeah, Brad, you know, March is an awesome, awesome month. And I, there's just not enough good things to say about it. This, just be ready, guys. Like, be ready and um, pull out all your pre-clients and start calling and following up. And it's not too late to join the challenge. Um, and really wrap people into this environment and this community that we have. Awesome. Thanks, Don. And that's exactly right. You know, the gyms are empty. You know, people are thinking about it. And just in case you're also wondering, you know, the people that even, even for you guys that started coaching in the new year and maybe have people that were like not maybe interested, you've moved forward in your health. People around them have moved forward in their health. And there, a lot of people right now, it's coming to March and they were like, dang, I meant to do something in January. Oh, crud. I knew I wanted to do something in February. Uh, it's the third, it's, it's a quarter through the year and I haven't done anything yet. So you know, just be on people's heart. There's a reason why more people now get healthy than ever. Plus you guys have clients that have been doing well and people have been watching them. So be on the lookout. It is client starting central right now. So thank you, Don, for, for doing that. Um, just kind of a recap here as we kind of finished up the call. And this is really what the call is all about. I just only have a couple more slides here is just, I've talked about the creative process and you, many of you guys that have been around for a while, um, have heard Dr. Ray talk about it. Maybe I've even worked with you, um, on, on some context of that. Um, but basically if you set yourself up for success and by the way, success is only success that's defined by you, only you to determine what is success for you. Um, and when we know why we do it, the hows and the what's become a lot clearer. That's my little slide here in the right corner. The creative process is just figuring out what it is you want to do. 
um, for, for yourself and, um, you know, what your goal is. So right now, as we start this month, you know, take that same piece of paper you wrote down your health goal on and write down where would you like to be at? What would you like it to look like at the end of March? And also, ideally, you would probably have a goal, you know, maybe two, three, four months down the road of what you're creating, you know, how, who you're helping, what the fit is, how that's going to look. So if you got that, the number one thing to do with that, it's why we're a community, is send that to your support team. Don't just keep it to yourself. You know, um, your support team wants to know it. And when you send it off, it becomes a lot more real. And it's not like they're going to be like wave it in front of you and say, hey, you need to do this. They're going to walk side by side with you and they're going to help you get that and maybe even more. Nicole, I think you're, again, you're only on my screen, so I'm going to keep giving you the props. I think you only want to be manager or you want to be associate director this month. And boom, look what happens. But I do have an email in my inbox from you saying that you want to do that. So that's pretty cool. So just a reminder that that's a high leverage activity. You know, a lot of people might think, oh, you know, I don't, you know, I, just, I don't want to send my goals in. You know, they may be little or whatever, but it doesn't matter what it is. We're all a team here. Send your goals in. If you care about that, tell it to somebody. Um, so that's the high leverage tip that I have for many of you guys and on your first time calls. By the way, I didn't even welcome all the new time members. So the new time is if this is your first call, welcome. We're glad you're here. Obviously, we're a funny bunch, so hopefully we don't scare you away. <laughs> um, but the last thing I wanted to remind you is I was going to do the, the drawing on the call tonight, but I wanted to give people a reminder. So many people are so busy starting people and just growing and helping so many people get started that I, I just was like, I want to give them a time, you know, because not everyone got their stuff in. We're doing a drawing based on last month. Uh, a point for sending in. So, so a lot like the company, we wanted to do an incentive that was helping you guys do all the things that are in your best interest. So um, you got one point if you sent in your goals for February uh, to your support team for your health and for what you wanted to accomplish in uh, your paying it forward mission. One point for uh, every one, uh, every each one reach one. One point for every two clients brought on and double points for every one you did by the 15th. So if you have those, I have a lot of yours right now, but I wanted to give an extra day and a reminder to send those in. So send them in to me. You can Facebook them or email them to Ashley and I. I'll do the drawing tomorrow night and announce the winner. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably just post a video of it. Last thing here is the high leverage activity of the week. Um, and basically this month is we have a health challenge. If you guys haven't joined, highly recommend it. It's always good to be moving forward on our health. That's why we have a maintenance category. So you can focus on your next phase of optimal health if it doesn't include weight loss or weight loss, if that is your goal. But this is an HLA, which is a high leverage activity. So this week, it's not too late. The challenge started yesterday, but it's not too late for people to come in. So potential clients. This is a great reason. So if you're wondering, oh, I have all these people that may be interested, how am I going to reach out? Well, reach out to them, invite them to the healthy games. And you know that's a reason for you to bring up a conversation and maybe explore some of their health goals and show them where you can help them. Uh, past and current clients are great person people to get in there because if they're in the challenge they're much more likely to be moving forward on their goals for past clients that maybe you lost contact with it's a great reason to help them get re-engaged um, right now and just you know focus on a goal and then potential coaches anyone who you're seeing is would be great to you know pay this forward there's gonna be scholarship reimbursement of a hundred dollars uh, for people that are in the challenge so if people buy if they're in the challenge and they want to become a health coach they'll get $100 reimbursed back to them for becoming a health coach. So how cool is that? That's why I want to give you guys kind of the tips on that high leverage activity of the week. So basically, I, this is where we kind of wanted to wrap up by just saying congrats to everybody. You guys are doing amazing. You know, this was such a fun month, and I couldn't have imagined it going any better. But, you know, just this year's motto has kind of just been is let's be consistent, let's have fun, and let's be on purpose towards what we want to create. And I want to remind everyone that a river cuts through rock not because of its power, but because of its persistence and kind of the idea here as you know, sometimes we don't understand how all that we can help all the people in the world get healthy because Dr. Anderson really understands that we're going to get America healthy is one well taken care of client by you. Even if it's your first client can lead to an endless possibility of people you can connect with. So one person can lead you to thousands. Uh, if, if that's right. And actually has literally, and that's funny that I'm looking at Susan and Shane LaBelle on the call right now. And Don Chow, literally one connection of someone getting healthy has led to, you guys helping thousands of people get healthy. And I just think that is probably the coolest thing. So as we wrap up, guys, as always, congrats on a great February. Thank you for everything you do. And what I think is really cool, this collective community, is we're doing something that are, is impacting live. And together, we're strong. And I just think it's really amazing what we do. So we want to celebrate you guys next month. Um, so whatever it is you want, let's find out what it is. Let's go create it. And let's go get a lot of people healthy. And thank you to uh, my drawer tonight who draws a smiley face on it. So I don't know who my artist is, but thank you. You're very talented. Anyways, guys, let's go have a great month. Let's uh, let's let's go uh, what we create. Want to uh, let's go create 
desired outcome we want. Let's go get a lot of people healthy. And we'll see you guys all on the call, the training call on Wednesday night. So that being said, one last time, take your hands, put them together, self five. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. And everyone have a good night. Thanks for being on tonight. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks, Brad. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Thanks. Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> Thank Thanks, Ashley. Maybe. Thanks, Witten. No, just <laughs> right on. Oh, if anyone else can hear me, I forgot to put Doug Wood's date of Arizona on the 28th of, um, of March. So anyone near or around Arizona, it's going to be on the 28th, I believe, the same location. Dan, you reminded me on that. Thank you. I think everyone's just going to stay on. So it's good to see all your guys' faces. <laughs> oh, look at Antonio and Annie. Look at you guys. I know. Yay. <laughs> Antonio, where were you that weekend, last weekend, buddy? Oh, sorry, man. I wasn't moving. Like, not like <laughs> We were not moving. You, you didn't break records? <laughs> no, we're still waiting for Brad to join our challenge. <laughs> I'm, oh, oh your, your Fitbit challenge? Yes. Yeah. Dude, send me an invite. You just need to follow up with me. It takes like five to 12 follow-ups, I heard. I have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only think you're on like follow-up number three. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, you're it. All right. <laughs> hey, Dan, how's the new place? It's awesome. We love it.